Hello everyone and welcome to Jump from Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for a two pipe fan call unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We got a complaint that the room is cold. The room temperature is 65 degrees. It is set to 90 and it says that the heat is on. Definitely chilly in here. Let's go ahead and open up this control panel and see what's going on. As of right now, I could hear that the fan is operating. All right. This one's not that bad. We got pretty good access. Let's see what's going on. First things first, you gotta know what is the starting component. So right now, system is in cooling. The, the building's in cooling, there's a chiller operating. So as far as heat, if they want heat, it's not gonna come from a water source, it's gonna come from emergency electrical heaters. So the first thing I'm gonna check is the starting component, and that's gonna be the relay. Let's check if the relay coil is getting voltage i don't know if you guys can see it it's gonna be a little tough it's actually a little tough for me too i thought i just got a voltage Let's see if we get a better connection right there if you guys can see got 120 volts See if these heaters are pulling amps. Zero. And zero. Oh, excuse me. Uh, mistakes. Check amps. That was volts. Zero amps. Let's check the next one. Zero amps. But there's a step in between that we didn't actually check. Yeah, the relay coil closed. But did the contact, I mean, the relay coil got energized, but is the contact closing, right? So let's see. We're supposed to have 120 volts on this side. Let's make sure we have that. And we have it. And if it's actually closing, we should have 120 volts from here to the ground. Got nothing, but hold on. Let's make sure. Got a good connection, man, this is tight. All right, that's telling me right there, we actually got a bad relay. I'm gonna bypass that relay and check. Let's turn this off. Okay. Let's see, it's hard to see, but this little black piece right here is the relay. What I'm gonna do is send the power from one side to the other and bypass it and let's see if these heaters even work before i begin any repairs it's hard to see if you guys can see the yellow jumper this one right here i'm sending power across got my ammeter set over here let's turn on the power let's see eight amps turn off the power Let's check the next heater. That So the first heater works. Let's check the next one. All right. This is an old lady in here right now, and I'm gonna be happy to provide her for some heat. This is an emergency service call on the weekend. It is Saturday, and I'm happy that I can make this repair. All right, so I just came back from the truck. I do have the proper relay but this is a spare part. This is the only one that actually would fit in that control panel. But I have a note saying that it buzzes. I wonder if that's because the relay itself is bad or I think during that call, there might have been a grounding problem, like a didn't have a neutral. You weren't completing the circuit. So I wonder if that would fit. I'm gonna try that really quick. But if not, I have a contactor. The thing is, this is a 110 volt coil. It's not really the common thing, but worst comes to worst, just so I can give them heating for tonight, I would install this contactor and I would just have to come back to put in the proper part. I caught them right at the right time because they were actually packing up, going to the next room 
and it's a pain and I can understand the frustration, but I'm gonna have them up and running real soon and let's make this happen and give them some heat. All right, so if you look closely, you can see the screw is coming from the top to the bottom. So the only way to actually get to that screw is you have to remove the whole blower housing. And I'm not gonna get involved with ripping that all apart. So we're gonna leave that relay in there and we're just gonna have to make some space, drill in a new one. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna check this relay because I would prefer that before I mount it though. I just wanna make sure that it's not buzzing. So, all right, this is the coil. So one side of the contact. Okay. And here's the other side. Okay. I'm gonna start that. So make sure this thing works and doesn't make noise. What's going on? Let's set the system to heat. All right, pulling amps. I can smell those heaters. You already know they're full of dirt by starting for the first time. So all that dust and dirt that's on it, burning off, but that sounds fine to me, especially if you close up this panel. I think we're gonna be good. Let's go ahead and install this thing. Quick tip, if the solderless connectors are not insulated, you might wanna give it a little tape, especially in the case like this, where everything is so close to each other. Don't want any grounds. All right, guys, if you can see, I mounted this relay, it's super tight. I actually just broke apart the other one in pieces. Just to make some space in here. It's so tight, I literally just crunched it up with a pair of uh, channel locks. So I guess we're just going to run one last test. Make sure nothing got loose, because as I was doing this, I noticed one of the neutral wires came loose over there. So let's make sure everything still works, and hopefully we can close this up. All right, it takes more time tucking in all these wires than it does making the repairs here. So I don't even want to get my meter back inside there. The last thing we're going to do is check temperature. All right, everyone, it's looking good. We've got 86 degrees right there and climbing. We have heat. All right, everything's looking good. We're going to wrap this one up here. Definitely want to learn how to check a relay. It is extremely important. I have a specific video on how to do so. But if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come up with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.